Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to record again for uh, Plato, whose Republic we are studying. So, according to Plato, what exactly is knowledge? It is justified true belief. So, there are two kinds of knowledge. One is the everyday kind of knowledge we have of the world, which we get through our sense organs. This kind of knowledge is usually called the empirical kind of knowledge. Plato thought that this kind of knowledge is good enough only for ordinary people to go about their everyday lives. But this is not the real knowledge. Like Heraclitus, Pythagoras and maybe Socrates, Plato also thought that empirical world was a kind of illusion, maya, a veil that hid the real truth from us. Because the everyday world is full of seemingly different things which are inherently unstable and always in the process of change. So reality must not change. It is eternal. It is with God. It is divine. Different people experience this surface world, Pratalam, in different ways and have different views about its qualities. Its size, weight, attractiveness and so on. They differ. So the world we see around us is full of Particulars, particulars, individual examples of things, giraffes, pencils, democracies, friends, red toys, tables, all of these things are also contingent, they are not necessary. They can only exist in a specific time and place. In order to make sense of this world full of millions of different particulars, we sensibly put them into groups or classes so that the world gets simpler and we can have a better grip on this world. So it's not always clear whether these classes are natural and really out there or whether they are a convenient human classification system based on our generalization. Like giraffe, like pencil, like democracy, like friend, like red door, like table, like house. Okay, so once in a while you find things that don't fit into any of the classes we assume are natural. Like the duck-built platypus. What's peculiar about the duck-built platypus? It's an egg-laying mammal. It doesn't fit the categories. We have an exception. Okay. So what is the reality? Does reality have exceptions? Or does the reality include everything? Is reality the universal? Let's see in the next class. Thank you so much for joining.